The other switches at the bottom of the Sapphire Control LE window offer a variety of settings for Sapphire LE. As already mentioned, there's the AC3 through switch, which enables Sapphire LE to directly transmit a digitally encoded surround signal um, from DVD playing software directly to a home surround studio setup um, via the split if out. Next there's the MIDI through switch, which enables any MIDI data received at Sapphire LE's MIDI in from a controller keyboard for example, to be routed directly to um, Sapphire's MIDI out, where it can be sent to external pieces of MIDI kit. Uh, then again, as already mentioned, there's the control link switch down here, which links all three of these output level controls for the analog outputs. There's also a shrink switch, which enables the Sapphire Control LE window to be reduced to a smaller format, where only the output mix section, as well as the software settings buttons and the sample rate settings, are visible. Furthermore, there's a float switch, which when activated means you can go in to your sequencer and edit various controls, and the Sapphire Control window is always visible, so you can always see the interface settings. And finally, in shrunken down mode, an expand switch becomes available to allow the window to be restored to its normal size. There are also um, load and save buttons down here which allow you to um, save and then also instantly recall any Sapphire Control LE settings. Finally there are the sample rate settings down here in the bottom right corner. Um, to select a different sample rate simply click on the LED next to the sample rate value. Um, right now, however, we can't select a different sample rate because in use is illuminated, which signifies that a recording session is actually in progress. If you want to synchronize Sapphire LE to an external clock, um, then you can actually lock it to the signal that's connected to its split if in on the rear panel. All you have to do in Sapphire Control LE is click on the LED next to X, and then when it's successfully synchronized, lock will illuminate.